flagship card. Have you, everybody's heard of this card. It's their most premium card. Um, so the travel card with a max limit of 80,000, okay? This is the key with this card, okay? There's no reward limits. You're going to get Amazon Prime for a year with it. That's pretty cool, okay? Um, I love it that you don't have the expiration while the account is open, so your rewards never expire given that your flagship card is open. You're going to have the global entry and, and P TSA pre-check. Believe me, that comes in handy, especially when you're flying and you're between flights. I can't tell you how much TSA pre-check can matter uh, especially when you're switching airlines in the middle of a country, it, it could literally save you from missing your flight. I've, I've been there, believe me. Um, the worldwide automatic travel accident insurance is big time, uh, plus travel and emergency assistance. These things come in big when you need them. You never know until you actually have to use them. This is the only card with a $49 annual fee, but I love it. No foreign transaction, no balance, and no cash advance fees. 3x points on travel, 2x points on everything else, Okay. The interest rate is going to be higher, so you're not going to want to carry a balance on this card. In my opinion, in my opinion, I do like the Amex reward card better than this card, believe it or not. I really do. Um, especially you're saving on, on the annual fee. The interest, let me see, could be actually cheaper. Actually, it's the same, okay? I just like the categories better. I feel like this is for everyday living, where this is more for travel, right? So if you're not traveling as much, that Amex card is great. Now, let's talk about it. This is gonna have a maximum limit of 80,000. That means this could be your only card if you're gonna have 80,000. If you have this at 80,000, you're gonna get denied for every other credit card, okay? The max limit on all these other cards is 50,000, okay? Okay, so you can have a, a total exposure limit of 80. So if you had the, the Amex card of 30, you could also have a, a, another card of 25 and another one of five or whatever you wanna do, all right? So let's look at the loans. Let's look at the checking line of credit, okay? I'm not a big fan of it. I was, and I have it. Let's talk about it. So I don't recommend this at all, okay? Um, I have it, all right? It used to be a lot bigger. They reduced it um, since my last video. There's an annual fee of 50 bucks to, uh, to have it every year. The top limit is 5K, which is not a lot. The interest is super high on it, okay? This is basically their personal line of credit. All right, so it acts as overdraft protection when you need it, but it's actually liquidity. You can move this money wherever you want. It comes with checks. So it's a glorified personal line of credit that you can write checks to any account. $5,000 is not gonna move the needle, folks. Okay, and what I'm about to show you in this training, I would rather have the credit cards than this checking line of credit. A lot of people talk this up, but when I reveal to you and help break down why this isn't worth it, um, I think it will resonate with you as well. This also is not an installment line of credit. This is a revolving account, and it actually counts against your 524 rule with Chase. So if you're after any Chase cards, a lot of people don't realize that personal lines of credit are actually revolving lines of credit. And if you're going to get a personal line of credit, you better get one better at $5,000. It's just not worth the inquiry for me. It's also not worth taking up um, space in the ecosystem for Navy Federal, I'd rather have higher limit cards that I can uh, liquidate whenever I want, okay? This is also going to be a trans transunion um, poll as well. You'll personally guarantee it as well, all right? So let's look at the Navy Federal personal loans. Now, this is super cool. Everybody can do this now if they want, okay? And I did this last December, last year, December. The personal loans, okay, goes up to $50,000, Okay. You can do it whatever you want to use the money for. It's instant liquidity. It was stated income, and they required no documentation. They didn't require pay stubs. They didn't require tax returns. I literally tell them how much I made, what my rent was. They literally gave an answer right there on the spot, and then I signed a promissory note, and within seconds, my money was in my checking account. I'll say that again. Okay, It was stated. This could pay for the mentorship right here for some of you because some of you need the money, all right? Stated income, no proof of income, so you're going to tell Navy Federal what you make. You're not going to have to send in docs. You're not going to have to send in the tax return. You're not going to have to send in pay stubs. And you're going to sign a promissory note that you're going to promise to pay the loan. And when you do, the, the, the funds will instantly be in your checking account, same day, within the hour. Merry Christmas. Hard pull from TransUnion. Joe, they like that one. 
Let's talk about the home improvement loan. Now, this one, I'll, as you can see, you can apply right from the website. This one right here, you cannot apply right from the website. You have to call in or go into a branch, okay? This is the home improvement loan. And as you can see too, um, when we go over to the personal loan, the interest is gonna be higher when you go 60 months, which is five years. Now you can pay it off early, right? But, but interest compounds daily, right? So if you go 60 months, you can pay this off whenever you want with no prepayment penalty, all right? So if people that need the money for real estate, they can jump in, get the 50K, get the deal under contract, do what they wanna do, and then you know they could pay this off whenever they want if they don't want to pay interest. If, if it's better for them to have it, then hey, have at it. The nice thing is, is you're getting the trade line of 50K on your, on your credit report. That's beautiful. Instant liquidity, trade line in your credit report, building an amazing relationship with Navy Federal when you're, when you're paying that off on time, believe me, comes big time for you when you get into the business side of things. All right, so I'm a huge fan of this personal loan, okay? Um, I have it actually. So home improvement loan. Now, my friend got this without owning a home. So this is, I've heard it both ways. You're going to have to do your due diligence and ask, okay? I think what they're doing is they're just going off of your word of mouth of what you tell them, whether you own a home or not. Because my friend got the loan. He didn't have to provide docs. And this was basically what he was going to do is get into fix and flip, right? So no collateral required. So you're not having to put your mortgage on the line. This is not a home equity loan. You know, this is not a home refinancing loan. This is a home improvement loan, a, a loan that's designed for home improvement projects, real estate, to be able to help you get done what you want to get done, right? Notice you'll have up to 180 months with this, right? And so the interest can be in that same ballpark. So if you're looking to use a loan more for real estate side of things, I would recommend the home improvement loan versus the personal loan if you can get approved for it. If you can't, then the personal loan would be your, your way to go. The personal loan too, guys, I took out a personal loan when I started my business on YouTube, okay? I, I had SoFi at the time, right? And uh, yeah, I mean, you just have to have an exit with loans. If you don't have a plan <laughs> to exit the loan, you're gonna get beat. If you have a plan to use the money, I love it, right? If you have a solid plan, hey, I need the money. This is my exit strategy. This is how I'll exit if I get in trouble. It's when people don't have a plan that they get wrecked, right? So my job is just to deliver the information. That's what you paid for. My job isn't to be your moral police. I'm just trying to look after. I'm trying to look out and look after you a little bit here. All right, auto loans, okay? Um, they have a couple of different things. New vehicles, okay? Um, they can go up to 96 months. So they actually have auto loans up to 100K. So you can go all the way up to 100K with their auto loans, which is super cool. Um, now, there's been a lot of controversy with the auto loans. Um, we'll kind of talk about that. Uh, bad credit can actually get approved for auto loans. The nice thing about this is, guys, you can get it pre you can get it pre-approved for this thing with them, and then you don't have to go to the dealership and ask to run your credit all over the place because they're going to shoot shotgun your credit all over the place. If you go into a dealership <laughs> with funding already, knowing doing market research, this is the car I want. This is the vehicle I want. I'm already pre-approved. You really take the power out of the sales guy's hands, out of the F and I guys, finance guys' hands. When you're coming in there, you don't need their money. You got your own money. You already know what you want. You don't want to be convinced otherwise. You literally take all the power away because you've exposed everything to light, right? So the best way to buy a vehicle is to get pre is to get funding through a credit union that you work with, or you can do a zero percent. But the problem is, is some of these programs that they talk about at the dealership at really low interest rates are designed for perfect credit. And if you don't have perfect credit, then they'll shotgun your credit all over the place. Now you have to use anchor removers to, to move them. It's just a hassle, okay? So if you don't have perfect credit, go to a credit union to get your auto loan, right? And on top of that, if you're a business owner, I would be using the Bank of America Play or being using the Navy Federal business auto loans if you can put the vehicle in your business name, that's even better. Why? Because your debt to income ratio won't suffer from it. So, all right, going back, if you're not in business, you don't plan on being in business, you just want an auto loan, Navy Federal Credit Union will be a great bet. You want something quick to get a vehicle real quick. They also don't require proof of income and they also don't require tax returns on this as well. Okay, so this is stated income as well. So you can get the vehicle, 
handle what you got to handle. And then I would recommend, I highly would recommend that you move this into a business auto loan. Okay. You can, you can transfer it into um, a business auto loan with, with a business account with any provider that you want and get that off of your personal credit. So that way you have that extra DTI available to you. So that way you can pivot when you're in business and things don't go smooth and you get smacked in the face and you had a plan and everything changes up and you need to get a backup plan and you are all maxed out on your personal side, that's called credit hell. That's what many of you are in, high utilization, right? And you're trying to get out of it. So how do you get out of it? You get into business credit, you start a business, you start getting tax write-offs, you start saving, saving money every single year by being a business owner. You start using business credit, getting higher business lines, not having it affect your personal credit, moving things into your business, right? putting your assets into your business so you can leverage them for secured loans and secured business lines of credit. It's all about the business credit, okay? I'm really trying to break that down to you because I it took me so long to really understand and get this. It's all about the business credit. And throughout this program, you will have everything you need. You're not gonna have to join other programs out there. If there's a topic you want us to cover, we'll talk about it, right? If there's things in the group that you guys wanna discuss, talk about it, help each other out, okay? We only know what we know. So that's basically how you apply for the auto loan, right? Um, so the type of information you're going to need is all of the above. I have this on the slide deck as well, okay? So you guys can have that 